Hi everyone, my name is Tyler from Tingang Ningnoi. I hope you are not too bored staying inside. I know I am a little bored, so today I would love to teach you a little about English today. I want to talk to you about driving, okay? I think one of the good things about Ho Chi Minh City right now is that the traffic is very quiet. I think um, it is very easy to drive in the city today. But I want to talk a little about driving, okay? So, first thing I want to talk about, okay? Let's talk about the street, okay? Now, some pronunciation for you. The S and the T sound, okay? These are different sounds, okay? Remember, the S is a long sound and the T is a short sound. St, st, street, street, okay? Remember to make those sounds. Now, I know you know a street, okay? But, one more thing you should know. A lane. Okay, now, a lane is this part of the street here, okay? This street, this lane goes this way, the other lane goes this way. You do not want to drive in the wrong lane, right? Okay. Another word you should know. Side walk. Side walk. Now, when you have the street here, the sidewalk is the place where people walk. Very easy. You just walk on the sidewalk, okay? Now, another word. Intersection. Intersection. This is the place where two streets meet. Okay? So, you have a street here and a street here. This is an intersection. Okay? Now, a little more pronunciation here. The S sound, and right here is the, we call this the SH sound, okay? Many people get this sound confused. S, sh, 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 okay? When you make these sounds, the S sound comes from the top of your mouth. S. The SH sound comes from the bottom of your mouth. Okay? Intersection. Okay? So that is the place where two streets meet. Okay? Now, one more word. Round about. Okay? A roundabout is the place when you drive and there is a circle, and you have many roads here, maybe here, 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 and you have to drive in a circle to go to the street, okay? This is a roundabout. Now, I want to talk to you about location, 
okay? If I ask you, where is bleh, okay? It, where is your house? Where is your school? Where is your favorite coffee shop, okay? There are three answers you can give, okay? The first answer, it is in, okay? It is in. Whenever you say in, you must say the district, okay, the ward, the city, the province, or the country. So, it is in District 3. It is in Dachau. It is in Ho Chi Minh City. It is in Binche Province. It is in uh, Vietnam. Okay, now, whenever you say on, okay, you must say the street, okay? It is on Tran Hung Dao Street. It is on uh, Din Bin Phu Street. It is on Kak Meng Teng Tam Street, okay? And the last one, it is at, okay? When you say at, you must say the address, okay? This is your house. This is a school, okay? You have the street here, and they are on the same side. For this location, my house is bleh to the school. What word should you say there? Okay, can you think of the answer? Okay. Next to. My house is next to the school. Now, my house is bleh, the school and the church. Okay. My house is bleh, the school and the church. What word do you think we need to say here? My house is between the school and the church. It's between. When you have two things on one side in the middle, that is between. If your house is here, and then you have a street, and the other location is up the opposite side, you would say, my house is bleh from the school. What word should you say here? Hmm? Now, oh, my house is across from the school. It is across from something. When you're standing on one side of the street and something is on the opposite side, you would say it is across from you. You would not say it is opposite from you. You would say across from you. This is Tyler Street. This is English Street. If your house is here, my house is on bleh of Tyler Street and English Street. The word you should say here, it is on the corner of Tyler Street and English Street, okay? This is a corner. This is a corner, this is a corner, this is a corner. 
If you are at one of these places, you would say you are on the corner of Bleh Street and Bleh Street. Now, if I ask you, how do I get to Bleh? Okay. How do I get to your house? How do I get to your office? Okay. This means you must give me directions. You must tell me where I should go to come to your house or your office. Okay. Now, there are a few ways you can give me directions. If you know the name of the street, you can do it like this. If you want me to go here, very easy. Turn, which direction is that? Right on, and then you say the name of the street here. If you want me to do this, you should say, Turn left on the name of the street. Now, when you give directions, you must say the name of the street. If you just tell me, turn right, turn left, I don't know which street to turn on. So you must say the name of the street. Turn right on Lei Lai Street. Turn left on Lei Lai Street. Now, if you want me to go like this, very easy. Go straight on Lei Lai Street. Or you can say, go down Lei Lai Street. Go down. If you say go down, you don't need to say on. One more. If we are here, and this is Lei Lai Street, and you want me to go don't turn, just go straight and go past the street. You can say, go through Lei Lai Street. That means you do not turn, you see the street, but you just keep going. You say, go through, and you don't need to say on. Now, Sometimes you don't always know the name of the streets, right? I know I always forget the name of streets. So, if you want to give directions, but you don't know the name of the street, you can do it like this. Take your, and you can say your, First, your second, your third, your fourth, your fifth, left or right. Okay, this is what you say if you don't know the street. Take your first right. Take your Second, left. Take your third, right. And that way I know which street to turn on. If the place you want to go to is very near, you don't have to give a lot of directions. It's actually very simple. If this is you and this is your house, you can just tell someone it is 
around the, and what do we call this here? Around the corner. Okay, my house is around the corner. Very easy, right? Now, if you are here and your house is here and all you want the person to do is just go this way, it's very easy. You just say, go down the street or my house is down the street, okay? Just keep walking and you will find the house. Now, if something is very near, okay, we have a special word, you, way you can say that. You can say, it is walking distance. It is walking distance. If something is walking distance, that means it is near enough that you can walk there. Okay, let's see if you can remember some vocabulary. He was driving in the wrong what, okay? He was driving in the wrong street. He was driving in the wrong intersection. He was driving in the wrong lane. Which of these is the correct answer? Remember? He was driving in the wrong lane. Now, remember, the lane is the side of the road. The right lane goes straight. Okay? You need to drive in the right lane, not the left lane. Now, there are too many people walking on the, the what? What do you call the place next to the street where people walk? What do you say? There are too many people on the sidewalk. There are too many people on the sidewalk. Now, this is what they say in the US. If you are in the UK, you might hear people say pavement. So sidewalk is US, pavement is UK. But I never say pavement, so that's not what we're going to do today. Now, I am on the corner of whatever street and something street. What is the other word for on the corner of? I am at the what of something street and whatever street. What is the place where two streets meet? That is the intersection. The intersection of something street and something street. Sorry I'm late. What are some reasons you might be late for work or school? I was bleh in a traffic jam. Do you know what a traffic jam is? If you live in Ho Chi Minh City or Hanoi, I think you should know what a traffic jam is very well. It is when you have many, many, many motorbikes and cars on the street. So, what verb do you say with a traffic jam? I was what in a traffic jam? I was stuck in a traffic jam. Stuck means you cannot move. I was stuck in a traffic jam. Now, what do you say when you are stopped by the police? 
When you're driving your motorbike and you are stopped by the police, what would you say? You could say, I was pulled over. I was pulled over. I don't know if any of you have been pulled over, but it's not very fun. So, if I come to you and I say, am I, am I, where is Circle K? Okay. You see Circle K here. First, where is Circle K? It is on, what do we say with on? Say the street. It is on Tranhangdao Street, bleh to KFC. What should we say here? Should say next to KFC. It is on Circle K, or it is on Tranhangdao Street, next to Circle K. And what would you say if you want me to go this way? You can say, it is around the corner. Okay, we are here. I come to you, I say, excuse me, where is an ATM? Now, the ATM is here. You, you can say, there is an ATM on, now what do we say? Kidong Street and Leilai Street. What should you say? It is on what? It is on the corner of Kidong and Leilai Street. And what do we say from here? Bleh from Co-op. What should you say? You should say across from co-op, not opposite from, across from co-op. So, if you want to give me directions from here to here, what would you say? First, have to go here. You have Trenhangdao Street, you go through Trenhangdao Street, then you do what on Lei Lai Street? You turn right on Lei Lai Street. And the ATM is right there. So, go through Trenhangdao Street and turn right on Lei Lai Street. We are here and I want to know how to get to Coffee House. What directions would you give me to go to coffee house? What would you say? Now, for here, take your second right. Then you go straight and you take your first left. The coffee house is on the right side after you take your first left here. So, we are here. I want you to go to CGV. What would you do? Take your what? Your first right. Then you go straight and take your what? One, two, second left. Go straight, take your one, two, second left, and then you're here. Now, if you want to give me the same directions to CGV using the street names, you can say, turn right on Kidong Street, turn left on Batanhai Street and turn left on Ditam Street. It's that easy. Let's put all of this together. If I come to you and I say, excuse me, 
Where is the coffee shop? Where is a coffee shop? You can say, there is a coffee shop on whatever street. I think in Ho Chi Minh City, there is a coffee shop on every street. But you can say there's a coffee shop on Tren Hung Dao Street. Go straight. Take your first left, take your third right, then take your second left. You will see it on the left or on the right. That easy. What do you say when you come to a roundabout? Well, it's very easy because when you go around a roundabout, you will always take a right. So, when you are giving someone directions through a roundabout, you will say, take your first right, take your second right, take your third right, fourth right, at the roundabout. Take your first right at the roundabout. Take your fourth right at the roundabout. It's very easy. If someone comes to you and says, is, excuse me, is there a pharmacy near here? I think now there's a lot of people looking for a pharmacy right now. Is there a pharmacy near here? Yes, there is a pharmacy within, that means inside, within walking distance. You go straight, turn, take your second left, turn right at the park, turn left at uh, Nguyen Hue, on Nguyen Hue Street, and go through Tren Hung Dao Street. You will see a pharmacy on your right across from the coffee shop. Very easy. Just say turn right, turn left, and remember to always say the name of the street or say the number of the street you need to take. Let's talk about asking for directions. If you are in a strange city and you don't know where to go, you can ask someone one of these questions. Now, first, what do you need to say if you want someone to talk to you? You need to say, excuse me, right? So, excuse me. Where is the nearest, the nearest, blah, where is the nearest coffee shop? Where is the nearest ATM? Where is the nearest bar? Now, can you tell me how to get to, and if you say this, you need to say the name of a place. Can you tell me how to get to Nguyen Hue Street? Can you tell me how to get to, um, to Bitexco Tower? Now, you can say get to or you can say find. Can you tell me how to find Bitexco? Can you tell me how to find Landmark 81? I think that's very easy. You can see those from anywhere in the city. Now, is there a pet gas station near here? Is there a, a coffee shop near here? Is there an Italian restaurant near here? So, for this question, you could say near or you could say around. Is there a family mart around here? Is there a, a Starbucks around here? You can choose one of these or, and it means basically the same thing. So, I hope this lesson was helpful for you and I hope you can find some directions to join us at Ting An Ning Noi. We will be waiting for you and I hope to see you soon. Hang up live.